You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Welcome back. Let me crack this frosty boy open. Welcome back to another episode of Hype Shoes and Boots. <laughs> hey. Tonight, I am drinking a Mind Haze IPA. I am trying out White Claw's new 70 calorie Clementine uh, sparkling water drink. Um, and I have to say, I'm not a big fan. I personally like the black cherry and the, what's my other favorite? Watermelon. What about pineapple? No, they don't have pineapple flavor. Mm. I made that up. Mm. Um, but I wanted to try the 70 calorie one, you know, because <clears> of <throat> health. But um, no, because less alcohol. So I'm yeah. gonna say no. So that's the problem is it's only 3.7%. So yeah, it's lower calories, but you also have to drink more of them to get the same effect. Yeah. Yeah. So now. So we've got a couple shoes we want to show you guys. Uh, the first one is the new Yeezy Zion 350 that just came out. Those of you that know me well know I'm not a huge fan of 350s, although I find myself wearing them frequently. All it's, the time. It's just such a... I mean, it's just so overdone. There's so many of them. There's 30 shades of brown. Hold on. Done. What about of the Jordans, though? You say there's so many of Yeezys, yeah, but like yeah. you have every single color shade of the Jordan. So I have to just say no. That's, it's not That's not fair. Great point. And I don't. I mean, I don't buy a ton of Jordans. He's totally lying. Right now. <laughs> it's like okay. every day a new yeah. one comes in. He's like, "What do you think about this one?" I'm like, "It literally looks identical to every single one you've ever shown me." Please don't waste my time anymore. The end. So that's okay, but no, not the smoke gray. That's different. Those were different, but they do all smell really good. So the only perk for me oh, when do. he opens a box is that I just smell them. Like I sniff them. It's pretty weird, but like just sit there for a little bit. And it's very not weird. relaxing and comfortable. So I can tell you right now, if you're like stressed out or anxious during this quarantine, yes. just go buy a pair of Jordans and just smell them. You don't just have to wear them. them. Just smell them. Yeah. Take a whiff. Also, maybe wear them. It's not a bad shoe kind of bad, but let's see. All right, let's get into it. So we've got three pairs of shoes, Yeezy Zion, and then we've got two pair of Para shoes and a little bit of a story for you. So let's start with the Zions because that's the newest, hottest thing that's out there. Typical Yeezy 350 box. Nothing special here. And really, in general, my opinion of a 350 is nothing special, however. Let's take a look at the Zion. All right, let's take a look. Ooh. Oh, here it is. What do you think? I mean, I love Yeezys. So first things first. It looks like a little flatter or thinner in my opinion compared to the other Yeezys. Am I wrong? First things first, check this card out. Not as clunky. This card is inside the box and it says, a special knitting process creates a one of a kind prime knit upper for every pair ensuring nobody else has one just like these. Pretty special. And that is actually my biggest complaint with 350s in general, is that legitimately everyone has them. There used to be, you know, back in the days of like the original Zebra before they restocked it five times, the breads, the three pair that they released with a solid stripe, I mean, they were pretty limited, pretty hard to get, not everyone had them. And now they just spray a million pairs into the universe. And we legitimately saw before quarantine time, we were at the mall in Scottsdale and we saw a guy mid forties, Wrangler jeans, super baggy with a pair of zebras. I don't recommend wearing any type of athletic shoe with jeans, but uh, yeah. And I mean, like, it was, <laughs> it was bad. And that was, you know, the beginning of the end for me with three fifties, but I got to say, First of all, it smells exactly like every Yeezy ever, which is good. It smells good. Consistent, yeah. But it looks pretty cool. I think I like these. Yeah, these are awesome. I'm kind of annoyed that you didn't get me any, but it's fine. Well, I mean, how do you know that I didn't? Are you going to surprise me on this video? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. That'd be excellent, you guys. I don't know if I have your size or not. I probably do. <laughs> I probably do. Okay. Wow. They smell good. Yeah. These all are right, cool. So let's talk about the shoe. Okay. It's gray up top, mm -hmm. and then it turns into this, it's almost purple. It is purple. It's, it's almost cool purple. Shade. It's a cool shade of purple, though. Yeah, like, I mean, these are insane. They can rock with a lot of different outfits. These I'm are insane. I'm just envisioning what I can wear with them when you give them to me later. So they're, 
You'd be a great salesperson. I know. You'd be a great. So there's a transparent stripe on the side, which love it or hate it, it seems to be here to stay. No pull tab in the back. I'm gonna pull this paper out so maybe you can see it. You can maybe see my thumb inside there. But you know, overall, super clean colorway. The laces are kind of interesting. They yeah. almost look like a braided steel. You know, when you get under the sink and oh, yes. go to work on the, the cords down there, it yeah, kind of looks like I do that like every a, Saturday. Yeah, I try to never do that. <laughs> but I see what you're saying. Yeah, it, it has like a braided steel look to it almost. Yeah. Back of the shoe, looks like a pencil eraser. Like the mm -hmm. big kind that you got when you did a standardized test I in grade erasers. school. Yeah. You know, like one of those fat blocks right here. Mm -hmm. I. The shoe's incredible. Yeah. Like this, when I hold this in my hand, this is a $500 plus pair of Yeezys. Like give it a couple months. If you want a pair of these, buy them right now because they just dropped. Everyone's getting their pairs. <laughs> Sorry. And it's as cheap as it's ever gonna be. Like this shoe is going up. I've heard people say, oh, it has turtle dove vibes. It, and it kind of does the, the turtle dove V1, which is, you know, pretty sought after. Kind of has that same feel. I normally look at these shoes and wish it had the pull tab. I'm good. I, I really like it. I think I'm always going to wear Yeezys. Like if someone comes and says they're not cool, I'm like, well, you're not cool. So bye. That's my take. She has spoken. All right. So that's it for the Zion. Let us know what you guys think. Comment I like them. down below. Yeah, I like them. I, I think they're good. These white soles at the bottom, I know my pair of zebras kind of started looking like this and they turned yellow with age. Eh, whatever. So do we, so. But true that, <laughs> you know, happens, happens. So anyway, that's the Zion. On to the next. Oh, how would you rate this? Probably, you, I mean, out of 10. What are you giving this out of 10, yeah. I'm gonna say maybe a 10. A 10? I'm feeling generous. You're but... giving this shoe a 10? You always Wait, do this to me. Just you always me do this to me. Let me say what I feel, and then I might backtrack later. All right. After we no, no. Shoes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a 10 for you. Yeah, today. Yeah, it's a 10. All right. I'm going to give this shoe an 8, which is a really high score. You know, I it's only an 8 because it's a Yeezy and there's a million... 350 silhouettes out there, but this colorway right. is pretty awesome. So if you pull a Jordan out, you better give it an A too, because there's 8,000 of them. So <clears throat> There's no Jordans here today, gang. Thank God. Anyways. No Jordans Moving here today. Moving on. All right. Up next, we have... This is a shoe I wanted for a while. Okay. You can tell by the box. It's a Nike. It's special. This... Is... The, the Air Max. Para? Para? Para, that's para. right. Yeah, this is the Air Max One Para. This shoe, it's pretty special. It's oh, it's funky. It is funky. Check it out. It's pretty beautiful. I just got these in last week from Goat. It looks like a chick shoe though. <laughs> Only because of polka dots and the it's, it's pink not. and purple, but. It's not that. All right, so before we get into the shoe, I gotta say, you know, Goat bought Flight Club or Flight Club bought Goat, not sure which one, but there's the instant ship option, which is basically just buying a shoe from Flight Club. I did it. I received these shoes. One of them had an insert, which was an Air Jordan 1 Low insert in the shoe for the wrong shoe. So it was the left shoe. It had a right shoe Air Jordan 1 insert in it. Not pleased. The box, they had this box inside of the cardboard box with no packing paper, no bubble wrap, nothing. And you know, the box has got a little wear on it. You can see it's kind of banged up here. It's kind of banged up here. Not a huge deal, but when you pay, I mean, these are, these shoes have been out for a while. For those of you that are not familiar, Para is a Dutch artist. I think he's from Amsterdam, maybe. Mm. And this is a collaboration with him. That explains. He has previous color. shoes that are now like there, there's the Holy Grail of Air Maxes. Well, one of the Grails of Air Maxes, which is the Cherrywood Para. It's five, 10, 15 grand if you can even find one. So super limited. These have been out for a couple years. 
I wanted to get a pair. I wear an 11. This is an 11. These were still in the three figures where like the bigger size is like 12, 13, 14, four figures already. This shoe, if you want it, now is your last chance to buy it. Came out 2018. It's, you know, it's going up. So didn't love the, the delivery from Goat. I'm nitpicking. You know, I, I've had bad experiences with them in the past, but the shoe is incredible. I think it looks pretty I awesome. I don't like it at all. You don't like it at all? No, I think it looks, I don't know. I don't like any, I don't like polka dots at all, actually. Um, and I really don't like stripes that much. That's just like a no for me. Wow. I don't like the color choices. Wow. What do you think this shoe costs in the resale market? Um, like $3,000? No. Uh, less? Because if it was, that'd be a joke. Yeah. Um, it will one day be three thousand dollars. Currently, right now, mm -hmm. four fifty five. I think around eight, mm -hmm. seven, okay. eight, something That's like that. Rip off. Supply and demand. Yeah. So I think the shoe is amazing. It looks pretty cool. Uh, we have I, different. We we have different um, taste. Yeah. Sure. How would you describe your taste? Way better than his. <laughs> How does like, it smell? Let's talk about when we first met, though. Who gave you fashion? Can we sense? not talk about that? Like that, That's another video. No. Yep. That's another video. the next one. <laughs> How do these smell to you? Like a not good shoe. What? Yeah, they don't. No. These have no scent. You're just lying to yourself. So we've been together 10 years. It's like nine, but it's fine. I, a little over nine. I hope that this trend of thinking horrible thoughts about Para is not here to stay. They smell great. They look awesome. Little check here in the front, stripes in the back, polka dots. I mean, it's a shoe made by an artist. Like it's a, okay. it looks like a shoe that on an edibles. artist designed. On the edibles. Someone who was just oh, not in the right from, mind. I think he is Amsterdam. From Amsterdam. That, I was like, that makes a lot of sense. Or yeah, like I kind of, I love it. Because he was. Here's yeah. the bottom, the sole of the shoe. The sole has soul, man. Look at that thing. I got soul, but I'm not <laughs> a soldier. Okay. Here's the the lace tips, which I think are pretty awesome, also. And then, oh, this is this is worth showing if I can show you guys. The insole. Oh, I see you have the stripes. Yeah, and I think it's different from your shoe. Yeah, it is. Give them a give them a look. What does yours look like? Looks Sorry. different. You got to show them the inside. Oh. Like hold it up. There you go. Yeah. I was looking at the tongue, my bad. Yeah, cool shoe. I yeah. think it's awesome. You know, I I bought them originally to wear. Um, I get, do have a problem with- so Finding what to wear it with, I'm, probably. I'm really bad, I'm really bad. I'll see a shoe, I think it's awesome. I get it in hand and I look at it and I know that as soon as I wear it, it's not worth what it was worth. And so, I'm always hesitant to to wear them. You know, when they're this rare, like, you know, this is old, rare. At this point, you you know, you're taking a taking a shoe that's dead stock that can be easily resold and, you know, wearing it. So that's I'd not- I'd be hesitant on wearing those too, but for different reasons. <laughs> All right, so that um, wraps up the, uh, what do you give these? This a is four. the- a, a four. Yeah, that's, that's being generous. Yeah, so for me, this is a, I wish I hadn't given those Yeezys an eight because this is a true eight or nine. Like it's rare, wow. it's special. There's very few of them out there. There's a reason for that. If you wear a pair of Zions to the mall, proud. you are gonna see another, if you live in a, a like a high population area, any big city in America, you're gonna see other people with Zions on. You rock this, you're a one of one. Nobody else has this. You know, I mean, if you go to like a sneaker convention or something, yeah, someone else is going to wear this, but like day to day, you're a unicorn, baby. A four? Mm hmm. Eight. It's an eight. All right. Final pair. It's better be better. To be honest, it's worse. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is actually worse. So this... Oh, man. What do you think about this box? Another what is this? clown shoe. Like, what? Yeah. All right. So we have another shoe from Para. No. And when I bought the Air Max 1s, I had a feeling that I probably wouldn't wear them. Mm, you don't say. So I bought another shoe he made. Much cheaper. 
you know. That's ugly. Or There's probably. still time. Yeah, I'm being hateful. You're being hateful. Okay, I'll cut it You're off. really hating. Until I see the shoe. You're hating on an artist, which is, you know. Well, like, I, I'm great for what he does. I just don't have the same, you know, vibe. All right. Him. Oh, wow. Here it is. I just put, okay, this is like kind of like American-ish, right? It, it looks very 4th of July. Yeah. This is the 4th of July. She could wear these on 4th of July, and that's probably it. That's not it. And, like, to any kind of, like, American function. Well, first of all... Like a football game. Let's talk about the most important thing. Well, let me tell you what it is. This is the Para Spiridon, I think. Yes. Air Zoom Spiridon. This shoe, compared to the other one, this one's still, like, 250 bucks. Like, I bought that one, and then I saw these weren't skyrocketed to the moon yet because you know they're a little uglier mm -hmm. it's not a classic like the air max one not as in demand you know one day this will probably be a five to seven hundred dollar shoe but like it's mesh it's super sporty super runner but no one's gonna buy this as a runner mm -hmm. like you know it's it's an interesting shoe but it was the fourth of july actually and i was feeling very patriotic I figured, hey, explains a lot. I already bought a pair of Air Max Ones. Might as well get the Companion, and I might actually wear these. You so were going to wear thought. these? Well, yeah. Oh, boy. What do you think? No. These don't even need to be in your closet. What get do, these out. What do you mean? No, these are not nice. Oh, these are so cool. Yeah, they're not that cool. Like these, the Air Max these Ones. These are three. So the Air Max Ones, I think, are awesome. They're better than these. These, I was pretty disappointed when I got it in hand. I don't think the quality is nice. It's not. No. It's... The, I would think these would be on sale like, at Nike for like $5. Give me a Maybe number. 25 I was going to say 30 Yeah, I could see them in the clearance rack. That's where they belong. I didn't throw them, don't worry. So I, I don't have as, I don't have as harsh of feelings. I like the overall... Like, I like what Para did. You know, like this is all really cool along the bottom. It's the mesh part up here and the overall shape of the yeah, shoe that's it. pretty, like, not Janky. as good. But I might rock these. No, please don't. You can wear them as water shoes, like the river, salt river tubing or something. These would be good water shoes. Water shoes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is a water shoe? Because I don't know, and I'm sure our, our beloved audience doesn't know. They most definitely shoe. do. Whenever you go to any kind of, like, water park or anything, you always have to wear a water shoe. If you grew up in Arizona which I'm sure a lot of y'all did, or anywhere that's hot. You go to a water park or a river, you have to wear a water shoe. Tell me this is not resemble it or something you could wear. Oh my God. You're going to take a limited run shoe made by an artist. I would. And that's trash all, it that's in the all river. I wear these for. So I'm going to say a three. What's your vote? I give it a six. Wow. It's rare. You know, I'll keep it in the closet. This is rare and you have to feel bad for it. I don't feel bad for it. Okay. Like but I appreciate, rating. I appreciate the, I appreciate the part of touch, but when you put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. And that is what this is to me. This is the budget version of the Air Max One, Para, or the, you know, ugly sibling. But I kind of like it. Okay, well, that's not just one of us. Okay. Well, I think that'll do it for today. Yep. Any closing thoughts? If you hear anything in the kitchen, it's our baked potatoes. It's making a lot of noise, so sorry about that. Oh, yeah. We're about to have some steak and potatoes for that's a little right. Saturday night date night in. That's right. Hey, got to quarantine. Got to keep it all American. Nothing more all American than steak and taters and the apparently very American design of... Para. All right. Thanks for joining us.